on the 28th of April 1945, the execution of a powerful dictator changed the course of the Second World War and history. Benito Mussolini, the dictator of fascist Italy, was shot at the side of a road near to Lake Como, and he was then dragged into a square in Milan, and his body along with that of his mistress was strung upside down on a service station, which was partially built. The impact of Mussolini's death was huge. He had fallen from power in the months before, and he was being propped up inside of the Nazi puppet state, but he was on the run. His execution, and in particular the posthumous display of his remains, had a huge impact on what was going on inside of Berlin at the end of April 1945. Hitler remained in his bunker, and he heard about the treatment of his old friend's body, and also that of his mistresses, and the Nazi dictator then made preparations for his own death because of this. Today we look at the posthumous display of the remains of Mussolini. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Benito Mussolini had been the fascist dictator of Italy since 1922, and he was given dictatorial powers, and was known as Il Duce. He was closely allied with Adolf Hitler, and he joined the Second World War as part of the Axis alliance, but following the invasion of Sicily in 1943, and the failings of the Italian army, Mussolini was ousted spectacularly from power by his own government, and some of his former friends, and he was then held under arrest. Following the armistice being signed with the Allies, Mussolini was rescued from prison in the Grand Sasso Raid, led by skilled German commando specialist Otto Scorzani, and he was then instilled by Hitler as the leader of the Italian Social Republic, the Nazi puppet state established in the north of the nation. But as the Allies fought their way up the Italian peninsula and took a number of key cities, Mussolini knew that the war was over for him, and he then took the decision to flee and to try to get into Germany to link up with Hitler. He was with his mistress, Clara Patashi, as they tried to make an attempt to cross into Switzerland to try and save their lives, but on the 27th of April 1945, Mussolini was part of a Luftwaffe convoy which was retreating and heading back towards Germany. But then the convoy would come under heavy attack by partisan forces, and the convoy was ordered to stop, and a number of other fascist leaders were located at the time. The Germans were forced to hand these over, but then Mussolini and Patashi were discovered hiding in one of the vehicles. It was claimed by one of their captors that his face was like wax and his stare glassy, but somehow blind. I read utter exhaustion, but not fear. Mussolini seemed completely lacking in will, spiritually dead. To say Mussolini was like a deer in the headlights was probably correct, and the partisans seized him and moved him to Dongo, before he was imprisoned within a local barracks. He was then allowed to link up with his mistress again, but the partisans moved Mussolini to a peasant farm nearby, as they were very concerned that he would be rescued. But then the announcement of his capture was made on Radio Milano, and the broadcaster, a partisan leader and commander stated, the head of this association of delinquents Mussolini, while yellow with rancour and fear, and trying to cross the Swiss frontier, has been arrested, he must be handed over to a tribunal of the people so it can judge him very quickly. We want this, even though we think an execution platoon is too much of an honour for this man. He would deserve to be killed like a mangy dog. The execution order, though, was given despite this, and there is a dispute as to who specifically gave the order to shoot the former deposed dictator. What is certain is that when he was collected by the partisan commander, Walter Odizio, who took him and Patashi under his possession. They were then transported to the outside of the Villa Belmonte, south of the village of Giuliano de Mezagra. Mussolini and Patashi were then ordered out of the vehicle or truck, and were told to stand next to the wall of the villa, and then at 4.10pm on the 28th of April 1945, the executioner Odizio opened fire with his submachine gun, and he sprayed many bullets at Mussolini and Patashi, who were instantly killed. It was a ruthless execution and there was no trial or anything, just an executioner and his assistant condemning one of the most powerful men of the Second World War. But then worse would come for the body of Benito Mussolini and his mistress Clara Patashi. That evening their corpses were loaded onto the back of a van, along with other executed fascists and prominent leaders, and they were taken into the city of Milan. When they got there in the early hours of the 29th of April, the partisans then dumped the bodies of Mussolini, Patashi and the others on the ground in the Piazzale Loreto, a public square close to Milan's main railway station. 
It was here, earlier, where a number of partisans had been executed, and their bodies were left on display too, but the bodies were left in a heap on the ground. But then a crowd of thousands began to gather. The crowd grew and grew, and the corpses were then attacked. People threw whatever they could at them, and some even threw vegetables at Mussolini's body. Others spat at and punched and kicked it as they went past, targeting his face which would become heavily disfigured. The corpses were very badly damaged and affected by the ordeal, and the crowd was described as depraved and sinister, and other eyewitnesses claimed it was out of control. The face of Mussolini was now unrecognisable such was the swelling and damage to it. The decision was then made to string up the corpses by their feet from a half-built service station's metal frame, and with this the body of Mussolini was placed alongside four others, including his mistress. Mussolini's corpse was placed second in from the left, from the structure, next to Clara Patashi's, and they were hanged upside down, and the crowd jeered and continued to throw things. The display of the remains in this way was popular within Italy, and had been used since the medieval period, and it was done to allegedly show the infamy of the executed. Some claimed that the bodies were actually strung up to give them a form of protection, so they could then be taken away, but then in the afternoon the US Army arrived, and then ordered the bodies to be cut down. The American forces then took the bodies to the city's mortuary for a post-mortem, and Mussolini's body was subjected to a rough autopsy. There have been two differing autopsies performed on Mussolini's remains. One claimed that he had been shot with nine bullets, and another stated that seven bullets were found in his body. It was conclusive that four bodies, which were shot near to his heart, was the cause of the Italian dictator's death, and during the autopsy his brain was taken out of his head, and parts were then sent back to America for analysis. There was no post-mortem conducted on Clara Patashi's remains, but the key thing about Mussolini's death was the impact that it had on the Nazi dictator a number of hundreds of miles away. When Hitler learned of his great ally and friend's demise, Hitler, a man who had idolised Mussolini for many years, then believed that the time was right for him to make his own preparations for his own death. He then created and crafted his will and testament, and Ava Brown, Hitler's future short-lived wife, would also consider her own fate. In the years following Mussolini's execution, his body and corpse was actually stolen from the grave that it was buried in, and it went missing for over a decade, being passed between different convents and monasteries before it was then finally discovered. It would be found in 1957, but a leg of Mussolini's was missing, and still is today. Thousands of people still flock to visit his tomb, but the ordeal that the corpse of Mussolini was subjected to was rough to say the least, and inside of Milan, people came in their thousands to give him their own personal send-off. This was a man, let's remember, who had sent many people to war. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.